This is one topic people are scared of. At least I was in my school days. But when I delved into it, it became one of the most interesting ones for me. Why do we need a concept of permutations and combinations in real life? What is the practical implication of permutations and combinations? In this video, let's talk about combinations to start with. Let's understand combinations first from scratch and then move deeper into it. Take a two digit number, let's say 85 and see how many numbers can be formed using these two digits. Simple, it can be 85 or 58, thus only two possible combinations. What if the number becomes 859? Following combinations 859, 895, 598, 589, 958 and 985 still doable but if the digits increase further it becomes impossible. Thus for such problems we come across a concept called as combinations with the formula as ncr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Here in r case for a 3 digit number and to form a 3 digit number n and r both are 3. Putting that in the formula we get the value as 6. Straight answer. Now even if it increases to 5 we can get the answer as 5c5 which is equal to 5 factorial upon 5 minus 5 factorial which is 5 factorial and that gives me 120 as the answer. What we have understood from this is that combination is nothing but arrangement of entities. The other way to understand this is in how many ways can I fill the slots. The first position can be filled by any of these three digits then the second one by any of the remaining two digits and the third one is only left with one. That also makes my calculation as 3 into 2 into 1 and that is 6. You replace digits with alphabets and the logic remains the same. For example, a word called as made, which is a four letter word, can form four factorial words. That is 24 words, with meaning or without meaning. Simple, right? 